Well, welcome to the brand new rail manufacturing facility here in Newton Acliffe, County Durham. So eight months on since we last stood in this location, we've pretty much got the makings of our brand new state-of-the-art manufacturing facility. We've moved 380,000 cubic metres of material, 80,000 cubic metres of that was natural rock which we used um, explosive technology to fracture the rock and excavate that and then we actually crushed that and converted that into a construction material which we've used here. So from an environmental point of view none of that material has left this site which is fantastic news for us. Since then we've put up the steel frame which was about 2,000 tonnes of steel and then we've wrapped it with the external cladding and the roof sheets. We've installed photovoltaic panels, approximately 3,700 modules um, is the scheme, and that will contribute potentially about just under one megawatt of energy at peak time. So that's another big sustainable design consideration that we've, we've considered and actually installed. So currently at the moment we're stood in the car park which the staff and visitors will utilise and then directly behind me you can see the glass frontage. That is a combination of our restaurant stroke canteen facility, welfare facilities, reception and the office area. So all your visitors will be greeted here and then we can get access to the manufacturing facility inside. We've got the rail sidings which is the storage facility for the brand new rolling stock. Also we've got lines coming in uh, to my left here which will enter the test house facility. They will go through a series of testing, they will come out on the rail track here and then we've got what we call the switches and the crosses. All these rail lines merge into one which we call the reception line that then joins up to our one kilometre test facility line or there's another switch and cross that allows us to switch across to the, the branch line ready to deliver rolling stock which heads towards Darlington and connects up to the East Coast Main Line. We've got three railroads and this is the start of the testing procedure before the rolling stock is actually delivered to our customers. About waist height will actually be the rail track itself and then behind me you can see the access staging. So the first level of platform will get you into the train car through its door and then the second height staging will get us access to the train car roof area. So there's testing operations going on the top inside the cars and then actually underneath and that's why this area of the building has a lower floor slab because we still need access under the rail car for part of the testing regimes. This actual building here is 280 metres long so this will accommodate a 10 car train if we need to and also another part of this building will have what we call the overhead electrical lines so that's a 25 kV electrical supply so this area is heavily controlled and a lot of processes in place with a lot of competent workforce um, testing the trains. Behind us here we've got the rear vehicle turntable. So at the moment what we're looking at is a lot of the specialist formwork being erected. That then forms all the concrete in a radius and then we'll put all the radius curved rail track inside ready for the rail vehicle turntable to be installed. From the top down our supply chain have done an outstanding job to date. The working relationships and the synergy between all the contractors and the developer is exceptional. You know, so the harmony's there. We, we have very positive meetings every time we sit down. We have problems like all construction projects, but we find a solution and then move on and deal with the next challenge. Any one day at the moment, we're averaging about three to 350 people helping us build our new facility and all of our resources recruited within a 50 mile radius. And that's been a huge agenda on the whole construction procurement process to source all of our contractors locally and we have pretty much achieved 95% of that requirement which I think is outstanding. We just need people with enthusiasm that are going to uphold our core values um, and willing to be trained and they'll come with certain skill sets that they've already had from past experience in life and then we can do the finishing touches. We're an international brand but in the UK, we're a startup business and we're going to be manufacturing state-of-the-art trains for UK and Europe. Every day, I love coming to work and I feel very proud to be part of the Hitachi journey.